A year after the annual Horsey 100 took a tragic turn, cyclists are back on the road tonight. We're just going to try to focus on the happy times. How they're remembering their fellow rider. We all mourn the loss of Katie Stewart. A Transylvania student is gone, but the school isn't forgetting her. How they're honoring her on what would have been her graduation day. After three years, the Powell County Search and Rescue Team finally have a permanent residence. We'll show you coming up. This is WQYT News at 6. It'll be really hard because you'll know. They are riding for a reason tonight. Hundreds of cyclists are making their way through central Kentucky. You're watching WKYT News at 6. I'm Sean Moody in for Kristen Kennedy tonight. The annual Horsey 100 is officially underway. The cyclists took off this morning from Georgetown, but this year they're making an extra stop to remember a cyclist hit and killed last year. WKYT's Mike Byer shows us how they're remembering Mark Hinkle in our top story at 6. Yeah, baby! Woo. Nearly 3,000 cyclists are pedaling through the bluegrass in the 39th annual Horsey 100. It's a huge thing for this area, for Central Kentucky. Yeah. The two-day bike ride started today, a day filled with tons of excitement. We're going for the 100 today. We're going to do it up. Do it up in style with our friends. Why not? One. And one filled with plenty of emotion. We're just going to try to focus on the happy, happy times and remember what a great person that Mark was. There are many stops along the way, one being more painful to see than others. It'll be really hard because you'll know, but then you'll get a boost because he will push you along. Last year, the event ended in tragedy when cyclist Mark Hinkle was hit and killed by a drunk driver. The two of us were finishing up the ride. Justin Bile was riding with Mark when tragedy struck. He says knowing that Mark is looking down will help him and this group make it through the ride. We've got a lot of, a lot of happy memories, a lot of uh, funny stories to share that uh, we're going to reflect on. Some cyclists will be biking over 100 miles in order to provide them with the safest ride possible. Police officers are covering every part of the course in all five counties. When you know that the, the law enforcement guys are there, that they got your back, I mean, that's huge, and we really appreciate that. To prevent another tragedy from happening, event organizers say both cyclists and motorists need to be mindful of each other and to share the roadway. Right, let's go. Ready to roll. Illinois. In Georgetown, Mike Byer, WKYT. This year, for the first time, there are large electronic signs throughout the course telling drivers to watch out for those cyclists. Graduation is one of those big celebrations. Students moving on to the next chapter of their lives. But one Transylvania University student's story was cut short just weeks before her big day. WKYT Sabira Rayford tells us how the school celebrated Katie Stewart's achievements at what should have been her graduation. As Mayor Jim Gray said in his commencement speech, today is really about celebrating the next chapter of life. Hundreds of people gathered here at Transylvania University to celebrate the class of 2016, including the parents of Katie Stewart. We all mourn the loss of Katie Stewart, and our hearts go out to her family and friends here today. Stewart died in March after she fell off an overlook while hiking one of the trails at Raven Run Sanctuary. I knew Katie as a barista down at Cup of Commonwealth, just off of Short Street. And her friends there, her colleagues there, described her just this morning as bubbly and vivacious and full of life. The school presented Stewart's parents with her degree and the family got a standing ovation. And Mayor Gray advised the graduates to be true to themselves as they start the next part of their lives. Now you can take a deep breath and come on down from these trees that I ask you to helicopter up into. And you can rejoin us as your lives become your adventures and your dreams become your realities. One of the things Mayor Gray talked about in his commencement speech was his close ties to Transylvania. He says his brother attended the university. In Lexington, Sabir Rayford, WKYT. And 270 students graduated in today's ceremony. We have an update tonight on a Moorhead State University police officer injured in a crash last week. Police say Sergeant Anthony Dalton had just finished his shift and was heading home when his motorcycle crashed in Moorhead. They say he was thrown off that motorcycle and suffered serious head injuries despite wearing a helmet. Dalton is still at UK Hospital tonight. According to a post on the department's Facebook page, Dalton was moved out of the ICU today. 
New tonight, firefighters are trying to figure out what caused a fire at a Lexington home this morning. Firefighters tell us someone noticed smoke coming from a home on Meadow Lane around 10 o'clock this morning, and it didn't take long for crews to find that fire and put it out. They tell us they believe that house is under renovation right now, and they said they got some unexpected help from a burst pipe. There was a burst pipe in the basement, and with that pipe being burst, it they kept the fire under control and it didn't really spread bigger than what, what we had and what you see here. No one was home at the time of that fire and no firefighters were hurt. Definitely feeling a lot like summer today as we kick off the unofficial start to the season, but we are tracking the chance for some storms. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell has an early look at that forecast. Yeah, it's hard to beat those storm chances, especially when you have a soupy air mass like we have out there right now, and it's going to continue to kind of linger throughout the rest of the weekend. What we have to the outside here, clouds showing up here in the Lexington area, much like most of us were experiencing through the day today. Temperatures right now, 83 degrees. With a feels like temperature of 83. So it's not oppressive levels of humidity. It's just that noticeable level of humidity that we are tracking currently. Showers, few thunderstorms have been showing up on our Defender Radar Network through the day today. But if you notice, there's a little sliver of across parts of central and into uh, southeastern Kentucky as well that has been virtually rain-free throughout the day today. Tracking one lone shower passing right through Danville and headed toward Harrodsburg right now. The general flow of all of this will continue to a little bit toward the north, northeast here over the next little bit. And as for the rest of the holiday weekend, we've got plenty of time left. We've got tomorrow. We've got Monday. Expecting chances of showers and thunderstorms around the area with highs again back into the 80s. We will break down what we expect for next week. We'll go beyond the holiday coming up for you in just a few minutes. All right, sounds good, Jim. Thank you. Severe weather is affecting two regions of the country this Memorial Day weekend. Two people are dead and five missing following flooding in Texas and Kansas. And tonight, there are warnings posted for the South Carolina coast as Tropical Storm Bonnie is getting stronger. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports. The rain cleared Saturday in Harris County, Texas, near Houston, but the damage was already done. Vehicles sat submerged after water turned roads into streams. The flood stranded some, like this man. A truck brought him through the water to a rescue boat, which delivered him to the other side where he was reunited with a woman. It was one of dozens of water rescues the past couple days since the heavy rain started Thursday. This family also needed help after they became trapped. Scared for my house, but we're good. In central Kansas, search teams are still looking for an 11 year old boy who was swept away by a swollen creek Friday night. And we'll be out here all day and, and as long as it takes and, and until we find him. The surf is already roaring in Charleston County, South Carolina, where tropical storm warnings are in effect as Bonnie moves in. The rough conditions were not enough to keep some away, determined to celebrate their holiday weekend. But riptide currents off of Tybee Island in Georgia, generated by the storm, proved too dangerous. Lifeguards ran into the water to bring swimmers closer to the shore and safety. Wendy Gillette for CBS News. Tropical Storm Bonnie is expected to hit the South Carolina coastline tomorrow morning. Back here in Kentucky, Memorial Day weekend is big business for marinas, but snowfall back in January caused millions of dollars in damage at marinas at Lake Cumberland. Lee's Ford Marina in Pulaski County had $4 million in damage alone when the snow caused many roof covered boat docks to collapse. Crews were still racing to repair docks to get them ready for this weekend. We've been working literally seven days a week. I mean, Mother's Day, Sundays, you know, Saturdays, everything till dark. We've been working in the rain, you know, whatever it took just to make Memorial Day because that's the kickoff of the season. And uh, yeah, I'm very relieved to get this past us. I mean, that's been part of the motivation is, you know, the harder we work, the quicker this thing gets finished. <laughs> Hamilton says they just finished covering the docks this week. People were able to bring their boats back this past week. They're searching for hikers, but they're no longer searching for a home. The Powell County Search and Rescue Team now has a permanent spot to call their headquarters. WKYT's Mike Linden talked to crew members about how this new home will help them keep track of hikers. Just off of the Slade exit of the Mountain Parkway is a red train caboose. After three years of being empty, it's now the home of the Powell County Search and Rescue Team. One day I was looking at this and I thought, why aren't we using this? This is something that would represent our team 
and Powell County Tourism. The team of more than 25 volunteers now has a permanent location to call home. We're here for you if you do go hiking in the gorge or Natch Bridge and you fall or stumble. Search and rescue team members had to move fast getting the caboose back in working order. In fact, they had to build both sets of steps to even get inside in the first place. With the busy season just getting started, Lisa Johnson says the location is not only good for tourism, but helps the team do their job. The rescues are here, so we're right here now where we can move. We're, it gives us maybe 20, 30 minutes, but 20 and 30 minutes is a long time when you're lost up there. That's like a day for some people. For an organization that operates only on donations and fundraisers, team members say getting the caboose puts the team on the right track. Everyone loves a train. In Powell County, Mike Linden, WKYT. Lisa Johnson says the next step is to paint that caboose. She says the county tourism board donated the paint and they'll put that to use soon. The team is always looking for volunteers or donations. If you'd like more information about the Powell County SAR team, you can find this story on our website, WKYT.com. And the WKYT News app. You can also download that for free in the app or Google Play stores. Still to come on WKYT News at 6, Batman takes a break from fighting crime to cheer up some Southern Kentucky kids. It's shocking to see, but it's a lesson to save their young lives. You cannot put a price on the life saving lessons that they've learned. Learning to survive, Monday at 6 on WKYT. The Lazy Boy Memorial Day Sale. Everything's marked down for a limited time only. You'll find amazing savings throughout the store on great looking sofas, chairs, tables, and more. Plus special financing available. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. It's the final days of your local Ford dealers Memorial Day All-Star Event. Hurry in to save on America's best-selling brand. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 60 months on almost every Ford, plus up to $2750 cash on select models, and make no payments for 90 days. Save big on a fantastic lineup of all-stars. Final days, 0 for 60, and up to $2750 cash. But hurry, it all ends this coming Tuesday. Plexington, save thousands at the Aegean Hot Tub and Swim Spa Memorial Day Liquidation Expo. This weekend only at the Lexington Center. We've taken delivery of truckloads of factory overstock hot tubs that must be liquidated by Monday. Everything sold up to 60% below retail. Browse rows of hot tubs and swim spas and save thousands when you buy directly from the manufacturer. Multiple brands all under one roof competing for your business. 12 months, no interest financing available. Plus, trade in that old hot tub and receive free removal and delivery of your new spa. Friday through Monday only at the Lexington Center. Who says mornings can't be happy? Not us. Introducing the DQ Hardest Working Happy Hour, with drinks that work even harder than you do, blending sweet flavors like never before. Only DQ has drinks that multitask in the morning even if you can't, like $2 premium fruit smoothies, $2 ultimate frappes, and $1 iced coffees. Every weekday morning until 10.30 a.m. at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. Welcome to Toyota. When you're riding through the plant, you'll get a chance to see the robots and you'll get a chance to see how everything kind of ties together. It's really like a symphony between people and machines. But when you look into the face of our team members, I think you'll see people that genuinely love what they do. They genuinely love their product. And I believe that translates into the phenomenal products that we make for each one of you as our customers. Plan your free tour today at visittoyotaky.com. No two babies are alike. And no two birthing experiences are alike. At the Women's Hospital at St. Joseph East, we believe you should have your baby your way with a birthing plan designed around you and a level three neonatal ICU. A personalized childbirth experience isn't just good for mom, it's good for baby. Kentucky One Health, the one name in healthcare. The Lazy Boy Memorial Day Sale. Everything's marked down for a limited time only. You'll find amazing savings throughout the store on great looking sofas, chairs, tables, and more. Plus special financing available. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. 
Here it is, the holiday weekend, the first extended break that a lot of us have got to see in quite a while. And as we go moving forward, we're going to keep tracking the same thing, heat, humidity, and some showers and thunderstorms. Let's get right to it and take you along I-75 for a little bit of a, a, well, a trek. And, of course, the first camera that I go to isn't showing up. That's fine because we'll keep rolling right on up the interstate to the Clays Ferry Bridge where you see... No major issues out there. Plenty of sunshine throughout this entire area, even as we go rolling a little more toward the north, around Winchester Road, southern split of the interstate. Not bad anywhere you're traveling today. Just a few isolated showers, thunder showers have developed. Can you find where one or several have been? You see the cooler shading out to our west, or do you see 77 in Danville? They were tracking a shower and a good little thunder shower a little bit earlier passing through that area. The rest of us running in the low to mid 80s out there on this Saturday. We expand our view and you can see a little pipeline of where the moisture has been. That's why you're seeing the yellow colors there. They've had some rain around, locking the temperature down just a few degrees, which is very typical for this time of year. There you see that moisture pipeline, how it continues to ride along Interstate 65. We've got one little rogue shower that uh, broke away from the main flow, and that's the one that we were tracking right through Danville. It's got a little bit of company, too, it looks like, as well, trying to come together. But the overall flow puts this off toward the north northeast and that means it could if it can hold on to some of its strength it could very well clip parts of Fayette County it will certainly go rolling through Mercer and eventually into uh, parts of uh, Jessamine County as well there you see the moderate rainfall now just to the north side of Danville while the heaviest stuff is just to our north we look to the pool forecast and for you tomorrow not a washout. You can actually get out there and enjoy some pool time, showers, thunderstorms. So we'll be around. But here's the thing once they pass by, you might not see another one, period. Could be like today, where most of us have stayed on the dry side. Here's the way all of that looks here with the hour by hour run, tracking that moisture pipeline along Interstate 65. Things start to break up a little bit as we get toward the uh, overnight hours. Then a front will pay us a very brief visit. It drops in and then it will check back up toward the north as we head into the start of the new work week. And as we do that, make that transition. That's when I think we'll have our smaller chance of rain. We're going to have a few days where it's only a 20% chance, meaning that a lot of us are going to stay on the dry side. But it also gives us a chance to see that heat really build back in here, Sean, with uh, 84, 85, up to 86 degrees. Some data pushes closer to 90 there by <laughs> Wednesday, so we'll wait and see. When you have humidity in there, it kind of cools things off at the mm -hmm. same time. just makes it feel more uncomfortable. So sure. we'll watch that forecast and tweak it. May as well just go ahead and call this July, right? <laughs> you, may, you may as well, because it's going to feel like it. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jim. Okay. Well, children in southern Kentucky got an unexpected visit from a superhero today. Somerset police say Batman visited the Lake Cumberland Regional Hospital. Batman and his Batmobile were scheduled to be in town for a downtown cruise this afternoon, but before that cruise got going, Somerset police and the superhero went to the hospital to visit children who were admitted for illness or injuries. Made a lot of kids days there. A chance at a state championship is at stake for Kentucky high school track teams. Not just graduation weekend for some of these athletes. All day action at the UK track and their crowning champions. Save up to 50% off with zero interest till 2021. Come to P-Rats Memorial Day Sale Monday with Freeview Sunday. Get double the free stuff up to $1,000. Plus Monday, be at the door when we open to get a free $100 gift card as our Memorial Marathon continues. On Tuesday, I buried my dentures under 23 tons of cement. And I really freaked out cause I needed my mouth for a very important event. So I called Aspen Dental, got in right away, and they made my new choppers in just a few days. And thanks to that service, I'm happy to say, I ate the most hot dogs in history today. With dentures starting at just $3.99 and ready in days, not weeks. Dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. This Memorial Day weekend, visit Suff's Furniture and Oriental Rugs Estate Sale. Suff's will liquidate 50 to 75% of our inventory as part of the estate sale of Albert Sandy Suffoletta. All of our inventory in Georgetown must be sold at great savings before this location is sold. But you can save at both the Georgetown and Nicholasville locations. Plus, every night, both stores will be restocked from our warehouses until everything is sold. Our Georgetown store will be sold, but we will continue to serve you you at Suffs on Nicholasville Road. Hurry for the best selection of fine furniture at Suffs Estate Inventory Sale. I don't want to live with the uncertainties of Hep C. Or wonder whether I should seek treatment. I am ready. Because today, there's Harvoni. 
a revolutionary treatment for the most common type of chronic hepatitis C. Harvoni is proven to cure up to 99% of patients who've had no prior treatment. It transformed treatment as the first cure that's one pill once a day for 12 weeks. Certain patients can be cured with just eight weeks of Harvoni. Harvoni is a simple treatment regimen that's been prescribed to more than a quarter of a million patients. Tell your doctor if you've had a liver transplant, other liver or kidney problems, HIV, or any other medical conditions, and about all the medicines you take, including herbal supplements. Taking amiodarone with Harvoni may cause a serious slowing of your heart rate. Common side effects of Harvoni may include tiredness, headache, and weakness. I am ready to put Hep C behind me. I am ready to be cured. Are you ready? Ask your Hep C specialist if Harvoni is right for you. Neil Huffman Honda of Frankfurt. Visit our website at huffmanhondafrankfurt.com slash TV. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend only for our big Memorial Day sale. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Queen bed, $197. Serta Queen mattress set, $277. Go to lexingtonoverstockwarehouse.com for more details. DNCE, Haley Steinfeld, Jason Derulo, Flo Rida, Lucas Graham, and Kygo. The iHeartRadio Summer Pool Party, Wednesday, 8, 7 Central. Come to P Ranch Memorial Marathon now and get our best memorial offers early. Like this Amana Top Load Traditional Washer, $279 Super Saver. Amana Side by Side with Ice and Water Dispenser, $999 Super Saver. Nobody beats P Ranch. Graduation weekend for many of our area high schools. A great accomplishment, yes, but the cap and gown look flattering on absolutely nobody. But for high school track and field athletes, a chance today to add an accessory, a big gold medal from the state track meet would make anybody look at least a little bit better. This morning, it's the smaller schools, the 1A state meet at UK's outdoor track facility. This is the boys' 4x800 relay. Guys running the final curve before that sprint to the finish. St. Henry would win this event, but Lexington Christian would take third. That was big. Also this morning, Mr. Basketball competing in the 1A high jump. Owen County's Carson Williams. He'll play next season at Northern Kentucky. Today he wins the state championship with a jump of six foot two inches. But it was LCA that scored a single point in the final event, the 4x400. Four and that point, good enough to win the boys' overall 1A title for LCA. Later tonight, we'll have highlights from the 3A meet in high school baseball. The region tournaments begin on Memorial Day. The 11th region at Lafayette this season. Monday, Madison Central, Lexington Catholic in the opener, 11 a.m., followed by Scott County, Franklin County at 1.30. Then it's the host and Henry Clay at 5 o'clock, and Madison Southern and Western Hills are the nightcap at 8. Now Lafayette playing host after they took advantage of getting hot at the perfect time in the district tournament. The Generals ended, entered rather the 43rd district tournament on a four-game losing streak, had lost seven of nine, but came out and won the whole shooting match. Finally, when we could get a little momentum going, you saw what happened. That's just playoff baseball. You get the you get the bounces, hits off a helmet, goes sideways. You get the guy to third base, got a what he got a pass ball. I mean, those those things happen when pressure comes. You know, next week they'll make the plays. This week we made them, so it's 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 good time for uh, playoff baseball. It feels good for the final go round to be at home. This it would have been bad if we didn't make it and had to host it without playing. But I'm glad we're in it and glad we're playing. That's definitely exciting. I'm going to try and. You know, hopefully get as far as we can and maybe get another ring instead of not winning that other one. <laughs> Regional play also in softball Monday. Madison Central hosting 11th Region Tournament. 10 a.m. It's the host taking on Lafayette. Noon, Woodford County will play Scott County, one of the state's top ranked teams. Western Hills at 2 o'clock. There's Scott County. And Dunbar against Madison Southern rounded out. And we've got the bracket softball and baseball for a few of the other regions on WKYT.com. Kentucky women's tennis team with a legitimate shot at winning its first doubles national title this year with the pair of Mami Adachi and Aldilia Sujati. They've been ranked at or near the top of the doubles rankings all season today in the national quarterfinals, the furthest UK has been since 2003. Adachi and Aldilia Sujati, the number two seed in this tournament in the white in the near court facing the seventh seed from UCLA today not a great start at all 
Now, they rallied after losing their first set in both of their previous tournament matches. Today, though, fall behind 6 love, no comeback this time. Kentucky sent home in two sets, 6 love, 6 2, but neither of those girls are seniors. UK men's golf in 12th, heading into day two at the NCAA championships. The field will get cut from 30 to 15 after tomorrow's action. Right now, Kentucky is above that cut line. They are still on the course in Oregon. In fact, really just starting the day. They're in ninth place right now, trailing the leaders by just six strokes individually. David Snyder at 11, uh, at even par rather, five strokes off the field. All five UK golfers, as you can see, still on the front nine of their round. Losing streak is at 11 games for the Reds in Milwaukee today. Didn't take long. First inning, Alfredo Simon pitching, Jonathan Lucroy singles, and the Reds once again trailing. Two nothing in the fourth inning. Tyler Holt, don't always have to hit it hard. Reds would cut the lead to 2-1, but the Brewers have added two more. And right now in progress, it's 5-1 Milwaukee. And last night in the NBA, Warriors in the Thunder. We'll get game six of th from them later tonight in the West. This is the East, and the East has crowned its champ. Patrick Patterson, he had his moments in the playoffs coming off the bench for the Raptors, but... Way too much LeBron James. Make it six years in a row for LeBron going back to the NBA Finals. 33-11 and six Cavs close out Toronto in six games. And as I said, another game six coming tonight in the West. Yeah, huge accomplishment for LeBron James. That's amazing. Six in a row. Huh. You got to go back in the history books to find someone who can match that. Yeah, pretty incredible. All right, we'll be right back in just a moment with more WKYT News at six. Get the credit approval you deserve at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Nicholasville. If you have a job at $199, you can be approved today. During the Drive and Discover event 2016, Jeep Cherokee's $199 a month. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. I'm Matt Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident, hurt on the job, or are the victim of medical malpractice, you only owe us a fee if we win at trial or are able to obtain a fair settlement for you. Your initial office visit with us is absolutely free. My family has represented you and your families for almost 30 years now. Today, we are honored to help you when you need us most. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Hey, you want to go for a ride? We show these everyday experts. I'm a police officer. Paramedic. The value of Nissan's intelligent safety shield technologies Ooh. like forward emergency braking that can stop your car for you save even more with holiday bonus cash this memorial day during nissan safety today event for a limited time save up to 1250 on the 2016 nissan rogue with 500 memorial day bonus cash and where can i buy it yeah. hey, can I up? shop your local nissan store and choose nissan.com today this sun will come out tomorrow for people with heart failure Tomorrow is not a given, but Entresto is a medicine that helps make more tomorrows possible. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow. In the largest heart failure study ever, Entresto helped more people stay alive and out of the hospital than a leading heart failure medicine. Women who are pregnant must not take Entresto. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Alice Gear. If you've had angioedema while taking an ACE or ARB medicine, don't take Entresto. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high potassium in your blood. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow. Ask your heart doctor about Entresto and help make tomorrow possible. You're only a day away. Have you ever wanted to learn how to take care of your bike? or sharpen knives? What about how to defend yourself? Now, now you, you can. can. First, go to the Central Library on June 4th. Second, pick up a program to find the session you want to attend. Third, go to the sessions. It's that simple. There are sessions on genealogy, origami, urban chickens, and many more. For a complete list, check out lexpublive.org slash how. Save thousands at the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Nicholasville, where you get 25% off MSRP on all the remaining new 2015s in stock. That's up to $14,000 off MSRP. Make the short drive to Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram today. Tonight's Powerball jackpot is $90 million. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot, $235 million. Oh, man, so it sounds like 
pretty much June, July from here out the next week. That's what you're going to feel like here. So next several days are going to be pushing close to those mid 80s, higher levels of humidity, and that daily chance of showers and storms. Now, here's the thing, guys. Not everybody gets in on the rain, I think, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It gets a little more widespread toward the end of the week. So some of us stay dry, can enjoy the rest of the holiday weekend, and then some of us will deal with the rain showers. And even if you do get wet, it's not for long, I yeah. guess, huh? And nothing lasts forever, and it won't. Be right. All right. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you all for joining us. Remember, our next newscast is at 11, and the news is always on at WKYT.com. Have a good evening.